have Professor Mary Helen, who is here with us in Canada from York University and from the other side of the border, all the way from Miami, we have Professor Kim Poppendorf, uh, who is with the Department of Ocean Sciences in Miami. So I have been tinkering with um, peer assessment for quite a number of years, but got very frustrated because our school uses Moodle and the Moodle platform is pathetic for trying to do peer learning. So a couple of years ago, when I had someone from Critic approach me, I thought when they described it, I thought, okay, this is good to try because the other thing I've gotten heavily into even well before the pandemic, as I was doing a lot of design work and best practices uh, in how to design online courses. So with what I was doing with an educational developer, this critic seemed to fit in really, really well with what we were doing. And uh, particularly since my courses were asynchronous and students really didn't have contact with each other, at least being able to grade each other's work um, anonymously was a very effective tool for them to interact and see what other students were doing uh, in a way that I couldn't really do otherwise in this course. Because part of what we're doing with the course is trying to design asynchronous courses to meet student needs who you know, may have a hard time fitting in uh, courses in the regular schedule. So I found the credit to be a really effective tool for that. And I think I'm into my third, fourth year of using it now, I don't remember. Um, and, and, it's, and it's been a really good experience because I have large classes, like 200 student-ish. Uh, so um, I have TA support and they said like it's really noticeable from the start of the course to the end of the course as you go from the first couple of assignments to the last couple of assignments how well the students seem to progress in their writing and understanding and also in their evaluation of each other. So it really does help them learn to address problems, answer questions, do a bit of critical thinking or as much as you can do with first year students in science. I also teach pretty large early uh, level classes. So I teach a large introductory class for majors in marine science. And for us, there was there was a bit of a, um, one of the motivating things was the need for giving them more of a chance to, to do activities, um, interactive things where they're really synthesizing, where they're really practicing their knowledge. Um, we're really limited where I teach um, over 150 students and um, there's just me, a co-teacher and one TA. Um, and so previously that's just functionally really difficult to have assignments um, because our grading capacity is just incredibly limited. So um, one motivation for us was it facilitated giving them um, hands-on activities where they could apply their concepts that we'd, we'd only ever been able to give before and in, it, not for credit in the class. We would like, you know, provide examples where we're like, so that you can try these things out, here's some examples. But uh, everybody who teaches probably knows it, it, there's an amazing difference when you give people an example problem that's optional and one that they turn in, even if the credit for it is very small and even if the evaluation is, is a pretty um, a simple evaluation, once it's for credit, they really dig into it in a different way, um, which for us really facilitates so much learning. So we use this to give them problems that questions that really ask them to synthesize concepts in class, like pull a bunch of different things together. And we also use it in our class um, for learning science language. Um, so we do two different styles of assignments. We have glossary assignments and then like short answer questions where they're like diagramming and calculating and writing a short essay and a bunch of different styles of that. So it facilitated giving us those kinds of learning activities. And then it's been really great seeing the way they, one of the real benefits with the peer evaluations is that they get multiple evaluations, right? Whereas if we give them feedback, they get one set of feedback on an assignment. And it's been fantastic seeing how motivated they are by getting those multiple streams of feedback. Critic for us has been like the biggest thing is that it's really added a whole separate layer to what we can ask the students to do. Um, just because of our large class size, we'd really struggled with coming up with good ways for them to practice a lot of the concepts. Um, like quantitative questions and like diagramming things. It, this was really gave us more opportunities for that. Um, but I do think it makes it's it's fun. It makes them so much more confident in class when we do things like think pair share, which like we'll do a lot more peer learning when we we have like just a few big review sessions throughout the semester in our class. Um, and people are so much more interactive in those now that we're using Critic um, because they've already, like, they're used to putting their answers out there um, and, and, and getting feedback too. 
So the thing with the critic, because it does have a mark attached and they have to actually do something, but they can do it on their own time. Uh, I think it's it, it, it makes them actually engage with it in a way they wouldn't otherwise. Uh, I mean, I, many, many, many moons ago, I tried the old like raise your hand kind of questions and peer learning and, you know, somebody stand up and, and ask a question and then, you know, we'll have someone else answer it or something. But a lot of those things just, you know, this is, this is especially first year students, they're a shy group. They don't want to be put on the spot. So anonymous, I think is, is, is huge in this case. I mean, I tried doing things like glossary within the Moodle where they all had to make a glossary contribution and then other people had to read it and comment on it and stuff, but not really that effective because it's asynchronous, so there's no direct contact. But there are a certain number of students with anxiety issues and trying to do something live like that with their peers, where they actually are, there's a social aspect to it as well as the learning aspect. It really, really is difficult on them. Whereas when you get into something like Critic that's totally anonymous and they're just typing and then they're reading something and typing an answer, it takes it out. And I actually had a student with this kind of anxiety come to me and say, you know, like, this is great. I don't like other peer activities, but this one is with my peers, but by myself at the same time. So they really thought it was effective. So I think we have to take into account some of those students who are shy, who don't want to engage who it's like i just want to learn i don't want to engage directly i don't want to get into all the social aspects some of these things anonymously it makes a huge difference for some of them it may be a small percentage but it does it, it does help